Uh, Shalom, Apostle Tahar coming back at you with this truth, giving all praise to you, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, And I'm going to entitle this video, For There Are Certain Men Crept In Unawares. And that's from uh, Jude, uh, which is a cha one chapter long, in the fourth verse. It says, uh, let me start from the... Let me start from the third verse, Jude 1, verse 3. Beloved, when I gave all diligence to write unto you of the common salvation, it was needful for me to write unto you and to and exhort you that you should earnestly contend for the faith. Earnestly. Let me just look that up. Okay, it says contend, meaning meaning the fight. Let me go back. I just wanted to see if I can get anything else out of that. It says, uh, earnestly contend for the faith. Now, there's only one faith. There's only one faith. Let's let's go to that real quick. Okay, I believe that's Ephesians 4. Matter of fact, I know it's Ephesians 4. Ephesians 4, verse 3. Endeavoring to keep the unity of the Spirit and the bond of peace. Unity means one. So, um... This verse right here tells you that, uh, makes it clear that the Mosai is not going to set up a bunch of different camps and a bunch of different groups of Israelites and give them different doctrines. Like you got one group saying that Edomites can make it. Uh, you got uh, another group or a couple of groups that say uh, the 12 tribe sign is not scriptural when that's clearly in um, Ezekiel uh, 37. Verse 16, um, you have uh, a big controversial scripture is uh, the mark of the beast in Revelation 13. So there's nowhere in the scriptures where the Mosai said, I'm going to give this, this, this group a certain amount of truths, and I'm going to give another group a certain amount of truths. No, there's, there's, there's one truth, there's one faith. Uh, endeavoring to keep the unity of the spirit and the bond of peace, there there is one 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 body and one spirit, even as ye are called in one hope of your calling, one Lord, and the Lord and the Lord has one uh, one name, the name Yahweh and His Son's name is Yahweh Shai. One faith, meaning belief. If one group is teaching that Edomites can make it compared to another group teaching that Edomites are going into slavery, somebody's wrong. Somebody's going off. If one group says that the mark of the beast is the microchip and, and, and another group or a bunch of other groups are saying the mark of the beast is not the mic microchip, someone is, someone's going off. Says one Baptist baptism one power and father and uh, one power and father our father Yahweh is a so would be classified as a so-called black man and his son would be classified as a as a so-called black man so his people the chosen the Israelites are so-called black I don't even like to say black but that's for you to understand so therefore if you have another nation the only hope that you have is that you may look like an Edomite, but your father's 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 father might be a Gadite or a Judite or a Benjaminite. It says one power and one and father of all, 
who is above all and through all and in you all. Okay, now it says the seventh verse, but unto every one of us is given grace according to the measure of the gift of Yahweh Shai. Now, now what does that mean? That means that uh, the Mosai gave Jude one, one chapter. The Mosai gave Peter a certain amount of tra chapters and books to write, uh, to write uh, First Peter and Second Peter. Um, the Apostle Paul received a whole lot of uh, uh, gifts as far as the term measurement of the gift of Yahweh Shai is concerned. And Yahweh Shai dealt directly with um, uh, uh, the Apostle Paul. And the Apostle Paul, I believe that's Galatians 1, it tells you that, that after three years he went up to see the, uh, the elders which are also known as the Apostles. So the Apostle Paul received this through the Spirit by Yahweh Shai himself. He was knocked off the horse and blind, and, and he was blind for three days, and he received his sight back, and he knew the order. And he knew to go. There was a situation um, in Acts, the 15th chapter, where they had to go, as a matter of fact, let me, let me go to it. As soon as this comes up, I'll go to it. Okay, I believe it's Acts 15. As a matter of fact, I know it's Acts 15. Acts 15. Okay, I'll start from the top. Acts 15, verse 1. And certain men which came down from Judea uh, taught the brethren and said, Except ye be circumcised after the man of Moses, ye cannot be saved. When therefore Paul and Barnabas had no small dissension and disputation with them, they determined that Paul and Barnabas and certain of and certain other of, of them should go up to Jerusalem unto the apostles and elders about this question. So that was order right there. That was order. Even though Yahweh came and, and supped directly with, with the apostle Paul and gave him all these revelations, he knew the order. And he... And he um. And he dealt with the order. He went to the apostles. He knew that Peter was the head apostle. Then you had John. Then you had James. Then you had the rest of them. So now let's go come back here. Okay, we read that. Let's come back over here to uh, Jude uh, 1 verse 3. Beloved, when I gave all diligence to write unto you, of the common salvation. Oh, by the way, Jude, which is the brother of our one of the brothers of our Lord, he knew who the head disciple was. He didn't jump up and say, "Well, look, I'm the Lord's brother. I should be the head." No, he was. The scriptures say, "Let every be, thing be done decency and in order." All right. It says, "It was needful for me to write unto you and exhort you that ye should earnestly contend for the faith which was once delivered unto the saints." which are Israelites. For there are certain, now listen, for there are certain men crept in unawares who were before of old ordained to be to this condemnation unpowerly men turning the grace of our, our Lord into lasciviousness and denying the only Lord and our Lord Yahweh Shai. I will therefore put you in remembrance though you once knew this, that's reincarnation, how that Yahweh, having saved the people out of the land of Egypt, afterward destroyed them that believed not. So these guys that had their own belief systems, they were destroyed. 
Okay, so now let's get down to the to brass the brass tax, however you say it. Anyway, this is the video that uh, Defender for the Truth, which is out of a Baltimore. Very diligent brother. Um, he put up a video on December first, two thousand eighteen, year of prophecy, entitled "Adam Abbott Caught in a Snare." Also, three questions answered on a. a the um on the GMS walk and talk eight, which I didn't get a chance to get all in these videos, you know, but I'll catch them here and there. Anyway, this was an actual uh, question that was put up by Adam Abbott, um, and I'm a, I'm a read the uh, the comment. It says, since the elder can't and won't answer, and use sarcasm to deflect. Uh, can anyone from GMS let me know if the entire one and if the entire 144,000 is in GMS? Yes. Uh, no, because if the entire if the in, entire 144,000 was in GMS, then we would have 144,000 members, which we don't have 134. There's not 134,000, 144,000. Excuse me, uh, Israelites out there saying that we're at GMS. So you're going to have guys that are not in GMS that are part of 144,000. Whether they woke up to the fact that they're Israelites, whether they're consider, considering the truth by watching the videos, whether they be in other camps um, and eventually become, uh, eventually be known as one of the 144,000. The question is, I can't answer. I can't, I can't say, I can't say, uh, a hundred GMS members of, of the 144,000 because you have you had members in the past of GMS that fell off. So so the answer would be I don't know. That's the answer. I'm giving you an answer right now. I don't know who the most I set up. I don't know who the most I brought into this thing into this truth, and then five years in the future, ten years in the future, fifteen years in the future. They fall off and go back into the world. In the book of uh, 1 John, let's go to that. 1 John. Two. Verse 19. They went out from us, but they were not of us. So from, from 2007, July of 2007, when we first put our first video up, uh, our first video was put up, um, you had a, a, a big number of, of individuals that, that, became a, that became a part of uh, what's now known as GMS or the Great Millstone. And a lot of them fell off. And there was this uh, situation where a whole camp fell off or got kicked out. There was guys that just fell off that didn't want to do it no more or got kicked out, or got disenchanted, and they just stopped doing it. There's many, many men that, that, that turn their back on the plow. So I don't know if you're talking about the current people that are in GM, GMS now, are they all 144,000? I can't tell you that. And that's what's meant in um, uh, 1 Corinthians, the 13th chapter, about seeing through uh, through through a, uh, a smoke glass. I'm just saying it in my words. Like I can't point to a guy and say, "Oh, you this guy," you know, your king this or your uh, uh, king Lemuel, Lemuel or your uh, uh, oh your Job brother. I can't say that. I don't know who anybody is. That's why Jude said what he said. Many that have crept in unawares. It says, uh, they went out from us, but they were not of us. For if they had been of us, they would no doubt have continued with us. But they went out that they might be made manifest that they were not all of us. Now you had guys in the past that was kicked out from, an from a another state camp. And, and then the brother was, was put back in. 
because they were evil, wicked dudes that set him up to get him put out. And those guys that set that man up to put, and I'm referring to, to uh, Uriah, I'm giving that example, they had kicked him out unjustly. And those guys that set him up to kick him out, those guys fell off and went back into the world or went back into their wickedness. And he's in and he's back in. So I just can't look at a guy and go, hmm, you a man of the Lord. And, hmm, you're the devil. Mm hmm, you can't do that. And this is and this question that you're asking, you know, if you if you truly understood the scriptures, you wouldn't ask this question. Let me read again. This is from Adam Abbott. And I'm gonna say this, Adam Abbott, you are definitely not at 144,000. Now I could be wrong, but I doubt it. Because you learned this truth from us and from other Israelite groups out there and you even came out to our camp a couple of more than once to, to, what, two times and acknowledged us as be beautiful brothers this that and the other and all of a sudden you can't see the mark of the beast as the chip let me read it again it says uh, since the elder can't and won't answer well I just answered the answer was, I don't know, because you got guys that's going to come into GMS, and you got guys that's going to fall back out, and use sarcasm to deflect. Can anyone from GMS let me know if the entire 144,000 is in GMS? No, because we don't have 144,000 members. Or, or will they teach what GMS te teaches word for word? Will there be members of the 144,000 in other camps, three questions that need three answers? Well, I can't give you, I can't, I don't know. My, my answer to that is I don't know. Who's going to come into this thing and the, ones, and the ones of you that's going to fall out or the ones of you that's going to be disenchanted. But I do know one thing, you are not a man of the Lord. And you are not a man in 144,000. Now, I say that, but like I said, only the Spirit will tell in, in the end whether you are one of those men. And I strongly doubt that you are one of the men of the, of the Most High. Because first of all, you're a novice. And you know what it says about a novice. These being lifted up in, in, with pride, he come under the condemnation of the devil. And you got a proud look. You a young man and you think you the shit. And guess what? You are going to be the shit when the Most High drop a missile on you. You are, you are not a man of the Lord, man. Until it be proven otherwise, you are not a man of the Lord. Because a man of the Lord wouldn't make no statement out of his mouth that the mark of the beast is not the chip, that it's the spirit. When we teachers that are over you. So I, how, I highly doubt that you're a man of the Lord. And if I was a betting man, I'll bet that you wasn't a man of the Lord. And you're not going to make it. And um, the people that are w working with you, they're not going to make it. Now, some of them might make it. Some of them might be members of the 144,000. I don't know. But you definitely are not, in my opinion, in my spiritual opinion, as a man that's been in this thing for 30 years, when I came into this truth, I don't even think you were born. But I'm I'm a maintain like I said I gave you the answer uh to to the three tw the three questions. I don't know, I don't know and I don't know. Only the most high knows. And in closing I'm going to say the mark of the beast is the microchip. And then any of these guys that you see in this in this uh picture right here matter of fact let me pull this back well you can see it you can see it if they can if they're teaching that uh the mark of the beast just like you 
the mark of the beast is not the microchip that is spiritual or it's an embargo or it's, or it's Christianity. The Most High is going to jack you up. The Most High is going to destroy you. Least ye, least ye repent. You know, you kicking, you kicking against the pricks. You going against his word. And you're going against the, the, the Most High's men. But I can give, I can tell you this. We believe that we're the men of the Most High, but we humbly say that the hopeful elect, that's being humble. But like I said, in my opinion of being in this truth for 30 years, and I've seen your kind come, come before. I've seen your kind come and go. Okay, this, this, this is not my first rodeo. In my opinion, in my humble opinion, and in my opinion, of being in this truth for 30 plus years, you are not a man of the Lord. And you have been marked now. You have been marked. Uh, 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 Romans, uh, 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 what is that? Uh, boy, I'm getting old. I believe that's Romans 8. I'm sorry, Romans 16. I'm sorry, Romans 16, verse 17. Now I beseech you, brother, mark them which caused the vision. And that's what you did. You caused the vision. What does the word division mean? Strong's G, 1370. Dechastasia. 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 Which means dissension, division. Now the scriptures, the three scriptures that pop up for this word, G, 1370, is Romans 16, verse 17, which I'm reading right now. Uh, 1 Corinthians 3, verse 3, which says... For ye are yet carnal, for ye are yet carnal, for whereas there is among you envying and strife and divisions, you brought a division, and the most high is going to destroy you for it. Are ye not carnal and walk as men? You walk as a man. When you brought your 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 crew together, you did it in your name. You did it, you did it in um you 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 you, you did it. According to your opinion, not according to the spirit of the Most High. Okay, another scripture, Galatians uh, 5 verse 20. Uh, ad ad idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies. So you're guilty of sedition and heresies. And when you look up that word, matter of fact, let me, let me go to it. Let me look up the word this sedition. And that's what you're guilty of. And the Most High is going to destroy you for that. Same word, this uh, dissension, division. Heresies. Which means active taking capture uh eg storming a city uh, uh uh choosing choice that which is chosen a body of men following their own tenants sect or party so adam 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 <laughs> adam abbott and your and your men you're just a sect you're just a sect the adamite sect it says of sadducees of of the pharisees of the Christians, dissension arising from diversity of opinions and aims. So you you came against us, the true men of the Lord, which we believe we're the true men of the Lord, and I say that hum humbly. So you done messed up, man. You done messed up. Okay, Romans uh, 16, verse 17. Now I beseech you, brother, mark them um, 
which cause division and offenses contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned and avoid them. So we're to avoid you. For they that for they that are such serve not our Lord Yahweh Shai, but their own belly, and by good and by good words and fair speeches deceive the heart to the simple. And that's what you do. You get off on teaching. You get you get off on holding that staff and you out there and you yelling at the top of your your lungs and you feeling yourself. But that doesn't make you a, a, a man of the Lord, man. You 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 are of your own belly. That's why you're questioning us right now. And that's more pride in you. And that's that devil on you, that, that demon on your back. So I answered your three questions, man. And um, like I said earlier, I'm going to say this again. You are not one of us, okay? You are nothing but a demon that's going to be destroyed. You had your little run, and now it's time for the Most High to take you out and your crew. Now, if there's any truly humble humble people in your crew that, that leave uh, from you, and everybody should leave this guy. Everybody should leave this guy, man. Because the Most High is not dealing with this man. Anyway, um, with that, I'm going to say...